Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Orloff's studio. So I am working on making Cinco de Mayo pinwheels. Um, this one doesn't work. So I just made the whole video on making this one and I think it's because of these holes that when you move it, it's not getting enough pressure against the pinwheels. So what we do, I have attached PDFs for you. I'm going to try to attach them to the bottom comments of this YouTube file so that you can download them. They'll also be on Google Classroom, but you do not have to have these. So if you can't print it out, that is okay. Um, I've already folded several of these square pieces of paper. I'm going to open one up to show you. So you take a square piece of paper, fold it in half. We're making sure we know where this center is. We're going to, sorry, so we're, we folded it in half, fold it in half again, and fold it in half one more time kitty corner. Um, when you are folding, a spoon works great for this, but this is an etching tool that I love So to make sure that your folds are nice. Okay, so I already did that with this one as well. I'm kind of lining this up here, and so what we're finding out with all of my mistakes, we don't want to cut very far into this, but I have marked this with a C. You want to make sure that you know where your center is so that you're not cutting above about halfway on both sides. Okay, so I started my design right down here. I'm going to continue, I'm just going to add some simple stuff down here. I like how the curved ones look. Let's try kind of an angled. So just a few cuts, kind of like a snowflake. But again, we don't want to go too far in because that pinwheel needs to catch the air. So same on this side. We're just going to put some little designs in here. And actually, I think I'm going to add some paint or marker to add some design to these. I also have this paper that I found at the dollar store that's already square. Okay, so we have this design. We're going to open it up to the square shape. And again, making sure that you're, you know where the center is because we're going to cut along this line here. Now, your cut needs to be at least two, two and three quarters. So two and one, two, three quarters of an inch. And that goes right up to here. So. I'm going to cut along that seam. And this is what's going to allow us to make those pulled back pinwheels. Okay, so I've got that cut out. Now I can open the whole thing up. And there we go. So now what we have to do is fold back every other corner to create that circle. Now, don't use a lot of glue. I'm going to use a combination of glue and tape. Um, if you use too much glue, it won't stick or you'll be holding it all day and waiting for it to dry. So if you just use a little bit of glue, I'm going to hold that one down and hold that one down for a second. Lining those up with the center. And I'm going to grab some tape. And Thunder is going to come help us. Hi, Thunder. Thunder, you are not helping. Okay, so that's sticking just enough I can get in there. Now, don't tape over one of the other areas that you're going to have to put glue. So that's why I'm taping that way. But that's going to help hold that down. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. And again, we're gluing, we're folding down every other one. But maintaining a loop there. Okay. Hold those down, get some tape. Okay, and now I'm gonna get a bigger piece of tape that will cover all four of those centers. <laughs> Under, are you helping? Yes, just one attention. Okay, there's our pinwheel. Okay, so the next step is that we need a bottle cap. I've already put the pin through, although it's going the wrong direction. Um, if you don't have, these are straight pins um, that you would use for sewing, or if you can't find straight pins, Come on, cat. <laughs> if you can't find straight pins, the next best thing is a push pin. These are kind of cool from the dollar store. But they're much shorter, so they don't let it spin quite as well. But the push pins are a little stronger, so it's easier to poke that hole through that cap. Now, if you're having problems poking a hole and not bending the straight pin, position it and push it up against a wall. Um, that's how I got through the heavier caps. But we're gonna take this out and we're actually gonna go through the inside of the cap. And I'm gonna push that all the way in. So it's coming out the back like that. And now I'm going to go through the very center of our pin mill with that. So at the very center, push that through so it comes through the back side. Now I've done this in two different ways, if the cat will get off of them. Um, but with a push pin, you don't have any room, so it's going to go right into the eraser of the pencil. Also, if you want to put your pinwheel in the ground, a sharpened pencil would probably work better. But if you are hanging them up with a closed pin like I am, um, a brand new pencil is actually better. Now, I took a straw and made a spacer to go in that pin. So all you have to do is take the straw and cut a little section of it off. You're smushing the... <laughs> so I'm going to put that over that. I'm going to get one of my brand new pencils with a brand new eraser. And I'm going to push that pin right into the eraser. Whoops, whoops. Push it in from the other side. There we go. Now you can leave that a little loose so there's some play in that. There we go. 